This is a 1950 Ford F1. We'll take it for a quick drive and show you around the truck. I'm driving this one by myself. Usually I have somebody hold the camera for me, but the truck just drives so good. It drives nice and straight. The front end has been rebuilt. Bushings, kink pins. It's got new shocks. All the underneath has been redone. Here's my finger test. I always try to show that to show you know how straight it drives. It's got just a touch of just a tiny wiggle of play in the steering wheel. Really better than honestly better than most trucks this uh like this that i've had in the past so i'd say this one it drives and uh, steers exceptionally well brakes have just been redone stops nice and straight actually i can let go of the steering wheel right now i'm letting go of the steering wheel stepping on the brakes stops nice and straight steers easily This driver's side door is just a touch tight. The exhaust on this thing sounds awesome. Dual exhaust all the way straight back from the pipes uh, and with uh, Flow Masters. Got a really nice sound. This is the original Flathead V8. Listen to this sound. I mean, that is this uh, sweet, sweet sound. Sounds like the. Uh, Maybe a little idle may just be a touch high, but it's running awesome. Probably just needs a little adjustment. A little too tight for me to do it by hand. Look at that engine purr. Man, that thing sounds awesome. I love these trucks. E-brake is not hooked up. So that would that'd be a good little uh, after Saturday afternoon project. Um, I don't have the original air cleaner. Actually, the guy that had it before me had a little, you know, one of those uh, uh, washable air cleaners. I can't stand those things. I'd rather run it like this until I can get a uh, original style one ordered um but you can get them on ebay they typically 75 to 100 dollars for a you want in decent condition and uh, clean it up paint it but man look at this underneath this hood really nice clean rest free inner fender wells firewalls in great shape now the truck's got a little bit of rust on it here and there it is kind of more of a shop truck so this front valance under here has got a couple of spots there's a rust hole there one there but this by no means is any rust bucket truck i mean this the body on it's not perfect but it was you know left this way on purpose to be like a shop truck now this is a summit racing uh hot rod paint and it just shows really really well i love this color kind of an army green and uh man what a just a really cool shop truck front fenders pretty straight and hood pretty straight and what it's got pretty consistently all over the whole body is just where really it was it was rusty and you know blasted down uh primered and, and it wasn't no body work was done to this truck so this was kind of a you know Kind of a truck that you'd think, how do we want to go about restoring this? And what a great shop truck it'd be if we just, you know, put some uh, put some paint on it and, and kind of called it called it what it is. So a couple of little spots here, you know, and like I said, so the whole truck is pretty consistent like that. The rear fenders are the worst. Got a few dents in them, you know, look like a work truck at one time. So pretty consistently from bumper to bumper. This is the worst spot right here. Uh, got a newer homemade tailgate, which is pretty cool and the same on this rear fender Not quite as bad as the other one. And if you know if this really bothers you um, You know, you can buy these new fenders on lmctruck.com 
and really those two rear fenders are the only things I think that need to be replaced on the truck if you wanted it to look perfect you'd want to go around and block it and all that stuff but really the to me the value in this truck is in the way it sits as it is so uh gentleman before me great mechanic uh lights working brake lights working it's got a new uh turn signal uh uh, assembly and it's already installed the wiring's already run up here and just needs to be finished off so if you want turn signals everything's already there just needs to be finished up um, nice new chrome strips new chrome front bumper it's got new t uh, tires on it and these uh wheels just look awesome with the old ford hubcaps um, it's got a beautiful bed old reclaimed wood man that just looks so cool and overall, the bed's pretty straight inside. Oh, doors open and close pretty good. The driver, passenger side door opens and closes a little easier. Driver's side, you gotta kind of shut a little harder. But just a really cool custom paint job. Seat's been recovered, brand new. Gray, brand new headliner. Unmolested, uncut dash with the new uh, plastic on there which is pretty cool original gauges do not work aftermarket gauges down here do work um rebuilding the original gauges is not that hard to do but most guys just do this this is just a little faster and really maybe more accurate so runs with great oil pressure voltage meter works it's been converted to a 12 volt system it doesn't overheat um the fan i believe works on this heater but it is not hooked up so just something that needs to be hooked up it doesn't have a glove box inside it that's another you know real simple little saturday afternoon project um they make the you know the cardboard insert for that but man just a really sharp interior you know just a simple basic car carpet kit generic carpet kit here with some rubber floor mats but you know it gets the job done um looks like some brand new foot pedals there which is really nice little addition and uh the interior of this truck just looks really good glass is in good shape actually i believe uh, this is all brand new glass you can see the new stickers on there um, got brand new glass all the way around with brand new weather stripping so this truck was built to look like it looks and uh, and the uh the oversights of uh not fixing dents or maybe a little bit of rust here and there just a small little rust spots here and there that's that's left intentionally that's what shop trucks are supposed to be like and uh man this you know the shop truck and the rat rod craze is in right now because you get a dent you get a scratch i mean you're not spending too much money on these trucks i mean they're ridiculous these trucks are you know, thirty-five, forty-five thousand dollars when they're completely finished, and you know, most of us don't even can't even afford one of those. But if you could, even if you get a good deal on one, find one for twenty-five or thirty grand. You don't want to drive it; it's going to get messed up. So, a couple of spots here. You got a little bit of Swiss cheese in the step up, but not bad overall. And underneath, like I said, a few rust spots, but by no means a rust bucket. You know, this this is a spot that rusts out pretty common. couple spots of rust on the floor pans and then you've got a new plate that's been welded in here so you got a brand new plate in the back and that's underneath the underneath the rear seat it is very clean underneath here mechanically got some new bushings and new brass and I can tell you know that this engine um, has been taken care of um, it's got a new master cylinder so really a few little rust spots here and there but what i would call you know like i said not a rusty bucket but definitely a few rust spots but pretty consistent with what i'm looking at for um now here's your rear cab corner what i'm looking at for a shop truck or a rat rod you know go around to the other side real quick <sighs> same thing got a few little rust spots there some pinholes Maybe some little bit bigger holes there you could fit a pencil through. If it was me though, the only thing I would do to this truck is maybe put a radio in it and drive it. It doesn't need anything. It doesn't need any repairs. It doesn't need any paint. I've actually got the uh, the leftover paint for it. It comes from Summit Racing if you wanted to do any touch-up. Maybe if you wanted to put an original um, tailgate back on it, paint it. 
so it would match but um the truck doesn't need anything like i said it's got a brand new interior brand new glass and weather stripping the engine's got low miles on the rebuild shifts and runs good it needs an air uh, original style air cleaner is what i'd do for it put an original air cleaner on it i might would hide a new radio in the uh, in the glove compartment and just drive this thing maybe a uh, side mirror a couple of little things if you really want uh, the windshield wipers do not work an electric uh, windshield wiper kit for these trucks is not too expensive from lmc trucking uh, lmctruck.com but man this truck really is uh this truck's ready to drive just like it is R runs great super mechanically reliable all the mechanics from bumper to bumper have been gone through brakes are awesome new tires this is a great truck